Hey everyone, it's Leonette. Welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am giving this portion of my living room a quick and easy refresh. I am getting ready for Christmas, getting my living room ready, and I've always decorated and did a lot of things for the wall that's behind me here on the camera. It's where the fireplace is, but on this side of the living room, it's always just kind of neglected a little bit. And I apologize for the lighting. It is very cloudy today and for the mess, but I wanted to give you a little glimpse of what real life looks like when you have kids and laundry and messes everywhere but I hope you enjoy this video so let's get started so I reupholstered these three pillows um, last year and I did a video so I'll link it down below and I didn't use any sewing I used hot glue and some old sweaters they kept up pretty well considering I have two small children but uh, some of them torn and this one here just stretched out and was just not cute anymore and then the other one was just dingy and dirty so that's the beauty when you DIY and do things on a budget when it's not pretty anymore or it's just not function anymore you can just replace it and you never spend a lot of money so I am removing all three sweaters or covers from the pillows and uh, of course I'm going to reuse the actual pillows I'm going to use a fabric that I got at Packetans uh, when they were here before they closed. Everything was on sale, and so I got it. I just liked the print on it, the colors, and I thought this was a perfect project to use. So all three pillows are gonna have the same fabric. So now I'm just placing it here on top to cut off a piece that would, um, that would fit it. And now I am just using a pen to kind of mark where I need to sew. I'm going to sew using my sewing machine and uh, I'm going to be very honest. This is my very first time sewing with this with a machine. I have not done it yet. And so I'm a little nervous and I'm sure I'm not doing some things that are not correct. But in the end it worked out for me so I'm just learning here. But I'm just going to sew through the lines that I made and I'm going to um, leave just a spot that uh, towards the end open so that I can stuff the pillow through it. I removed the excess fabric from the or around the edges, leaving about a quarter of an inch um, there so that it still has a little bit of give. And then I'm gonna cut the edges or the little corners, but very carefully making sure I don't cut any of the uh, seam. This is so that when I flip it inside out, the corners are not, are not bunched up and they, they fill in very nicely. And once I had it nice and flipped, I then took the pillow and I stuffed it in there. I'm not using these little clips. Yes, they're not what you would use, but I could not find any pins, so I used these to hold it. And then I just folded the fabric inside the little edges on the opening and then I sewed it. And there you have it. I am so impressed and so pleased. It's not perfect. If you look at it, it's not perfect at all. But gosh, am I so proud of myself. I think they come out pretty cute. So I'm going to be painting this railing. I'm removing the couch from it and anything from uh, behind of it so I can get cleaning. When we purchased this home, this home was um, very neglected and Although we had cleaned everything and everything's livable and, and nice now, but some of the areas I've been updating as we go. And as I mentioned earlier, this side of the living room, I just haven't done much, so I'm excited to get paint. Of course, I'm using some painter's tape so that my painting can be a lot easier. This is by far not my favorite thing to do, but it's so needed because it just makes life easier when you're painting. I 
I am using a regular um, indoor uh, latex paint and I'll be doing two coats on the uh, baseboard here as well as the railing. So I am not a fan of painting railings or chairs that have spindles. It is very, very tasking, but goodness was it worth it. I am done painting the railing. So now I'm going to add my blanket ladder, which is usually in the corner where the Christmas tree is going. I'm adding this faux plant just to add some texture and some greenery um, decorations to it. I got this rug at Wayfair.com. I'll try to link it down below. And uh, I would just needed a rug for the living room for the cold winter days. The rug was slipping and sliding quite a bit, so I added these rubber pads to the bottom of it. Alright guys, so here's what this side of the living room looked like on any given messy day. What it looks like now. Obviously the lighting is better, but God, what a difference does it make just to paint something and just to get things organized. I think my living room looks 10 times better and will it stay this clean and organized? Probably not, but I think overall it already looks so much better. And now my corner where the blanket ladder was at is nice and cleared for and ready for my Christmas tree and I can't wait. So this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe if you enjoyed it right underneath this video. Have a great day.